the Joe Rogan experience. I feel I feel bad for like this next generation because I don't even think they realize that you know what's happening with that. It's just that that addiction to your phone. I, I, well, that's really what I think is going to be is eventually we're going to everyone's going to have this sort of opinion and attitude because people are starting to get wind of it that it's bad to be to be on your phone that much. Um, and I think just parents are going to just start saying like, yeah, no, you can't be on a fucking cell phone all day. You can't be. And I, and it, I think it comes down to us. I think we have to make a decision to do that with our kids. Yeah. You got to teach them discipline for sure, but also rest, recognize that everyone is using these things and it's a part of civilization now. Yeah. I, I really feel like if we could see the writing on the wall, we would be terrified. I, I think human beings are, we're slipping into some weird place where we're for sure within the next few years going to be connected to computers. Oh yeah. And how we're going to do it. I don't know how they're going to do it. Whether it's something you wear or something that's in you, but it's coming kids. And it's almost like all these things are falling in line at the same time. Like all these uh, endocrine disruptors and plastics that are fucking up people's reproductive systems. And then at the same time, we're all getting addicted to phones and not as personal. Mm. You know, because people aren't really communicating, hanging out, and just talking to each other without checking their phone every five Dude, seconds. It's going to be the future is going to be us looking at each other and downloading each other's thoughts. Oh, fucking, because you could airdrop pictures and shit. Now it's literally going to be like, yeah. here, take this picture, just with a fucking thought. Yeah, that, and it will one hundred percent is going to happen. They're, they're already they're already doing shit, right? They're already mm -hmm. making devices that can go in your body that connect to to other shit. I'm sure, dude. I'm sure it's so much more advanced than we even know. Think about, think about how much we don't know, right? There's got to be some yeah. crazy shit going on out there. For some sure. Really There's unethical some, shit. Some DARPA <laughs> shit that's going on right now. Yeah, dude. Hey, what is, um, like, what was that thing? I want to see Elon they... Musk's basement. What the experiments <laughs> that he has going on right now. It's probably 18 miles deep. <laughs> um, what, what is that uh, thing they did where they, uh, where they recorded uh, human thoughts? Like someone was watching something and they got a recording of that from something this person was wearing. I saw it, I saw it. Yeah, bro, that is, that is like, just think, Morse code was not that long ago. Yeah. It's wild. That was not that long ago. Yeah, and it seems like technology will just move now with AI. It's just, it's, yeah. it's just moving faster and faster and faster. It's like, it's really cool, but it's also the fucking story. terrifying. That's the shit that I'm terrified. Yes. Fuck asteroids, dude. This shit that we're talking about right now is the shit that keeps me up at night. No, is this it? Scientists recorded a Pink Floyd song from patients' brain waves. Yeah, this is it. The tech could eventually allow for communication without words. What? 100%. If these eggheads keep going, we're fucked. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, <laughs> we're going to be doing crazy shit. That's the really, like, and then you got to figure, like, it's going to be who's rich, who has the best, you know, computer built into their body, because mm. the same the same guy who can afford, you know, a fucking Lamborghini yeah. is going to have a super brain, you know, and his computer is going to be faster than your computer. He's going to be able to download and upload information faster than you. It's kind of wild. Well, like you, you're going to have to be an early adopter, Right you would have to be like one of the people who gets the brain operation first. And then you'd be like way ahead of everybody. Yeah, but that first one's gonna fuck. <laughs> it's gonna, that first one's gonna fuck work? up, dude. <laughs> and those, the night before the operation, are you sure this is gonna work, Harry? Yeah, dude. Harry, look me in the eye. You're gonna cut it into my brain. <laughs> are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I don't wanna <laughs> hear pretty sure, Harry. <laughs> yeah, dude, any, dude, it's fucking nuts. That's like uh -oh. those people on that, uh, that went on that, um, you know, the fucking submarine thing. Yeah. The Titanic, dude. It's like, yeah. what a cool thing that must have been to, like, sign up for you. Like, dude, we're going to go to see the Titanic. And then, Ooh. that's fucking wild, dude. That could have been you, Joe. You could have been down on that mm -hmm. thing. No? no? Not a fucking chance in hell. Well, there was uh -uh. one, that, was it Mr. Beast? He said that they invited him to go do it. I am not hopping in that fucking no. backyard smoker and drop it into the bottom of the ocean. Would you go to space fuck out of here. right now in like one of no these charters? Fucking no fucking chance, son. You love space. Those things blow up. <laughs> you have to go real fast to go into space, kid. Yeah. Those things blow up. I'm not interested. Not until they get that shit down like an electric car. When they get a spaceship that mo moves like a Tesla, just Yeah. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, just not worth it. I get it. Look, starry nights are beautiful. I get it. 
Yeah. I get it. I get you'd want to like go out, get real high, and come back down. I'm good. <laughs> you can fucking keep that. I trust that it's up there. Yeah. I don't have to jump at the top of a cliff. I'm good. Yeah. I'll, I'll just sit down and look at it from here. Like even as f- high as we get, like what we're calling space, like look, we've made it into space. We're like fucking that far off the Earth's surface. Yeah, there's so much out there. Is that what? Uh, is that what the those tours are? You just go into space for a, a second. Yeah, and... you just go like come back down. No, like you don't like go to space. No, space. I want to go land on the moon. I want to yeah, check out Mars. Uh, fucking, you're not going to Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dodge some fucking uh, asteroids. You know what I bet they will be able to do probably really soon is to give you a VR representation of what it would be like to travel through space. Oh, I bet it already exists. I I, I went, I had, um, yeah, there was a NASA thing that I had on my Oculus. Yeah, that was good. It was super cool. I mean, it was like, it was just a movie essentially. It wasn't like, I didn't get to like free oh, move, mm. but it was like I was on like, um, like a space station type thing. So you were like mm. moving all over. It was really, really cool. Is this it? No. What is this, Jamie? Some sp- <clears throat> I just looked up space. Trip to outer space. That's the first thing that popped up. Get the fuck out Joe, of here. Joe, you would go what in that. This? that I'm look- this this is-, is a space elevator, and it's going to fall. It's and a everyone- balloon. Okay. So you got a little bit of extra. Bro, I am not going in a fucking look balloon. Look how comfortable it looks. What if it gets hit by an asteroid? This is- looks like your studio, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> oh, my God, it does. Podcast <laughs> in a balloon. No Bro. rockets, no G-force. No, listen. You got it. That- they have to do it a thousand times trip. before I even think about doing it. A six-hour journey. Cocktails. Six-hour journey. See, that's crazy. Space. If the, if it's, bro, I am not going up there. Perfect place for a podcast. Yeah, perfect place to fall to your death. <laughs> <laughs> like how many how many fucking fail safes? Do you do nothing I'm sure, like I j- say, dangerous? For the record, I'm sure it's safe. Yeah. It's do you, do you do anything dangerous like uh, hundred dollars? <laughs> no, hundred hundred twenty-five. Hundred twenty-five thousand. Oh, it, what? Wow. Refundable deposit. So 125 bucks. grand to go up in a balloon. Yeah. Well, I hope it works. In six hours, I feel like that's kind of disappointing. I feel like space should be more than six hours away in a balloon. I'm scared of anything that people are trying out, like flying cars. I'm like, just drive that for a while. <laughs> you you drive it for a while. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I'll be over here. Dude, even like this, just the self-driving cars that fucking, go, like you hear about once in a while, they'll just fucking go haywire. Like the, the, mistakes happen. Yes, mistakes happen. And then you're just in a car that you can't fucking stop and yeah. it's like mowing people down. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I, never, I have a, a Tesla. I never put the self-driving on. Yeah. I mean, I do sometimes when I'm on the highway just for goofies. Do do. Yeah. And it just drives itself, but I keep my hands on it. So it's it completely self drives. Yeah, completely wow. self drives, yeah, up I, to a point. But I don't let it. You know, it's just it's just to me. It's just like I'd, I'd rather just be really tuned into what I'm doing and paying attention. Yeah, 